provide a flowchart which describes the process for the prepayment adjusting entries using the balance sheet method. Both prepayment adjusting entries, the deferred expense and the deferred revenue, have the same characteristics. Because of that, I was able to develop a flowchart which tracks standard entries made for prepayments. You can then use this flowchart to process prepayment adjusting entries. Let me go to a new page. Remember, we're using the balance sheet method, and we start with the word prepayments. We're going to track both of them. Deferred expense, also called prepaid expense. And of course, deferred revenue, also called unearned revenue. We know that for prepayments at the beginning of the period, there's a balance on the trial balance, or during the period, there's an exchange. For a deferred expense, the company purchases an asset which has future economic benefit. The company may either pay for the asset with cash, sometimes they have to, or they will pay for it on account. Then time moves on. As time moves on, the company uses or consumes the asset, usually to help generate revenue. At the end of the period, the company has to record an adjusting entry. For the deferred expense adjusting entry, the company recognizes the use or consumption of the asset by moving it from being an asset to being an expense on the income statement. So we've just completed the deferred expense. Let's look at the deferred revenue. For the deferred revenue, you could also at the beginning of the period have an existing balance on the trial balance or during the period there's an exchange. In this case, the customer would pay in advance for a product or a service they have not as yet received. This would result in a debit to cash and a credit to a liability account. It's a liability because we owe the customer a good or a service. That's the exchange during the period. Then time moves on. In this case, a good or service is provided, past tense. Therefore, at the end of the period, we have to record an adjusting entry. This adjusting entry recognizes that there is no longer a liability because we no longer owe anybody anything. Instead, we can now recognize a revenue because we have earned it. Can you see the similarities? In both cases, there may be an existing balance at the beginning of the period or an exchange between two parties during the period. Then, as time moves on, the company does something. Either they use or consume an asset or they provided a good or a service to the customer. At the end of the period, because the balance sheet is no longer correct, we have to either recognize that use or consumption or we have to recognize the earning of revenue. This is called the balance sheet method because balances are held on the balance sheet as assets and liabilities until adjustments are needed. Prepayments.